हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ आर यू आई होप ऑल आर यू फाइन एट होम एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ वी आर लर्निंग द क्लोथ्स वी वेर इन अ प्रीवियस पीरियड वी हैव लर्न क्लोथ्स इन अ डिफरेंट सीजन्स हाउ डू वी मेक क्लोथ्स मेकिंग ऑफ अ कॉटन क्लोथ्स हाउ प्लांट्स सप्लाई अस फाइबर्स और कॉटन फॉर अ क्लोथ्स but we can't forget contribution of animals the animals also supply us fibers if you have read the rhymes ba ba black sheep have you any wool i wouldn't need to tell where we get wool from yes from sheep we get wool from sheep our sweater which keeps us warm in the winters from the animals like sheep we we all wear woolen sweater in a winter which makes us warm and cozy so let's start making of wool we get wool from the hair of sheep the process by which hair is collected from a sheep's body is called shearing the sheep's hair is clean and made into woolen thread in a machine the woolen thread is knitted to make woolen clothes such as sweaters caps socks and mufflers woolen clothes can be knitted at home they are also made in a factories from where do we get wool we get wool from sheep look at this picture here is a sheep and sheep has a thick coat of hair and it is also called fleece after winter layer of fleece is removed from sheep using a shaving machine most sheep breeds need to be sheared at least once a year although some breeds have a wool that grows faster and need shearing twice a year you can see here a man who is collecting hair of sheep from sheep's body the process by which hair is collected from a sheep's body is called shearing the sheep's hair is clean and made into woolen thread in a machine now look at this picture here you can see two large needles and wool thread the woolen thread is knitted to make woolen clothes such as sweaters caps socks and mufflers netting is the process of making a textile by connecting loops or stitches of one continuous thread using large needles a textile is a fabric made by interlocking threads made of natural or synthetic fibers netting can be done by hand or a netting machine which has many needles mounted on a needle bar so the woolen thread is netted to make woolen clothes such as sweaters caps mufflers and socks woolen clothes can be netted at home they are also made in a factories the garments made of wool 
are quite stretchable. When we wear sweater, it stops our body heat from taken away by air and our body stay warm because air gets trapped in a gap between the thread in a woolen garments and air is a poor conductor of heat so we feel warm. Have you seen anyone in your family netting wool? Yes or no? So I hope you understood making of wool. Tomorrow we will learn making of silk clothes. Now let's watch this video and learn more about making of wool. Thank you. In Australia, there are more than 75 million sheep. That is more than three sheep per person. Sheep are domestic animals, which means they have been tamed to live alongside humans as pets or as farm animals. Sheep can live on big farms with thousands of other sheep and once a year they are shorn so they can stay cool during summer and their fleeces can be made into many different products. To make these products including sweaters or jumpers, firstly the sheep grow their wool. That white fuzzy hair isn't actually hair but is naturally grown wool. To care for the sheep you need a nice big paddock with lots of grass, water, sunshine and shade. Sometimes sheep live in huge paddocks with thousands of other sheep on big farms in Australia. Once a year in spring, the sheep get their yearly haircut where the shearers, who are special people whose job it is to shear the sheep, cut or shear the sheep's fleece. While the shearers are shearing, other workers are sorting the fleece and packing them into bales to be sold. The wool can either stay in Australia or be sold overseas. Once you are ready to use the wool, you need to give it a nice wash to make sure it is nice and clean. There are big machines that can do this and it washes the wool up to eight times. Once the wool is dry, you need to comb it like brushing your hair, but this is also done by a big machine. This brushing of the wool is called carding and it removes all the sticks, thorns and knots from the wool. It is then straightened into a nice, long, thick, woolly roll. Instead of staying white the whole time, you can dye the wool into many different colours of the rainbow. You can even make a mixture of different colours. The wool is then spun. This is where the wool is twisted together to make a long, strong rope, which is called a yarn. The machine then joins the yarn together by weaving or knitting and turns it into clothes, curtains, blankets, socks, carpet, and even your beanies and scarves. Sometimes you can see your mum or grandma doing this with their knitting needles or crochet hooks. Once the item has been machine knitted or hand knitted, you then get to wear your nice, warm, comfy, new woolly clothing or snuggle under a nice, warm, woolly blanket. Once you're finished with your wool clothes, they can be recycled by unwinding the yarn and made into new clothes or other items. Nice and sustainable. Wool is very important to Australia as you can use it for many different things, all supplied by the one little animal on the farm, the sheep. <laughs>